Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Monday afternoon. Today, we're going to be doing squats and squats only. Here lately, I've been trying to sneak in bicep or tricep along with it, but today, I'm just going to do squats. Uh, I took a late nap like a bad boy and uh, woke up, and I'm lucky I even got this done. I'm pretty happy with what I did today. Uh, if you'll stick around in the video, you'll see. Uh, you know, see what I did, and um, pretty happy with what I uh, pretty happy with what I accomplished. And uh, anyway, so we got some snow last night, and it's uh, spit and snowed a little bit earlier today. And so uh, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so we're out of school anyway. But uh, we would have been <laughs> even if it wasn't a uh, holiday. So, uh, and we're going to be out tomorrow too. So, and those of you that live further north than Tennessee, it's the way it is here. Uh, we have back roads that many of you would not even want to drive on uh, without snow and ice, much less with it. So, and when you're carrying a bus and you're responsible for dozens of kids, you know, you have to think about what's going on and put, you know, not caution to win. Uh, the other thing, uh, use extreme caution. Yeah, you, you, you want to use extreme caution because you got a lot of a lot of lives at stake. Not just all the kids on the bus and me, but all the people on the roads. So you got to use extreme caution whenever you have this kind of weather. And uh, even in town here, whenever the roads are clear here in town. The back roads are still horrible and uh, very treacherous and uh, nothing that I would want to be out on at 5 o'clock in the morning or 2.30 uh, in the afternoon for that matter. So, you know, a lot of people like to make fun, but we're driving on roads that many people uh, would never want to drive on in the first place. So, that's the way that goes. And uh, anyway, we're going up to 225 here. I'm trying to use my good range of motion that I've been working on so hard for all these years. And long years before I even started back working out. And uh, the last almost three years now that I've been working out, I've, I've really been trying to work on my squats. And here over the last probably year, several months anyway, uh, I've really learned how to do squats my way. And uh, breaking out of that, uh, breaking out of that mold or, or the same old same that I was doing for years and years, and making myself use uh, a little bit better form and range of motion. You'll notice that I got a little wonky on that first one, but sometimes that happens. You know, you got a lot of weight up on top there that you're trying to balance, so sometimes you get a little wonky. 315 and I'm gonna do something really cool today and uh, I'm gonna go up to uh, 385 which is my new set that I'm trying to get perfected and I'm thinking I'm doing pretty good here but uh yeah we're slowly I think I'm slowly mentally uh, in the background of my old brain trying to make my way up to 405 which is my long-term goal of uh, squat getting one rep my one rep max if you will I kind of I kind of said I was done with it but I've really been since I've been working on my squats and all that I've, I've started getting a little stronger in the bottom end and uh, yeah I think eventually maybe I'll be able to do a decent rep at 405 at some point maybe you know that could happen and, uh, these sets here are 385 I'm pretty happy with I think they look pretty decent are they better than what I did last week? Well, that I don't know. Uh, I did take some snapshots at the uh, the very bottom end and uh, looked at them, and they look pretty good. So you can do that. You can do the same. You can critique my squat all you want and, and all that. Check them out. Stop them. Slow motion. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, but I'm doing pretty good. So you'll notice. Now, I, didn't, I did two different angles, but I didn't edit it in here. But you can see the 35 on the end. I got three 45s and a 35, and then a bar is 45, of course. 
So if anybody needs proof, more proof that that's 385, I have a, a different camera angle if you need it. But you can go back and look at all my videos over the past three years nearly. See, I'm pretty, pretty honest about what I'm doing. I don't have any reason to lie to anyone. And, uh, that would only be cheating myself and lying to myself. And that don't make any sense. So, anyway, we're heading back down 315. My 315s I feel pretty good on. Uh, I've, really, I've really gotten those good. You'll notice my hair in the front. I tied my hair in the front. <laughs> and because uh, I get tired of it getting caught on the bar. So, I put some hair around one side and some hair around the other side and kind of tied it around my... I've got a tie around my uh, chin there. <laughs> kind of crazy, but... Hey, whenever my beard was long, I used to do that to my beard. So, anyway, it looks kind of natural on me. So, we're heading back down here. This is our last set, 225. I think I'm going to get about five reps here. Yeah, so I had a pretty good workout. A nice day off, and I guess tomorrow I'm going to have another nice day off. And tomorrow I'll be doing uh, chest, and I'll probably go ahead and throw some arms in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and get them done. So stay tuned for those videos. And remember, all these videos every day, every week, they add up to something, and that is reaching our final goals. So although you might get sick and tired of seeing us, people like myself, doing these same moves and routines, they are leading to a bigger picture. So stick around for that. All right, guys. Have a good day, and uh, be safe out there. And... Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. All right, and uh, get out, get out, get red. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. See ya. Get up, get out, get red, and do it.